Social emotional learning was originally brought into schools under the guise of teaching kids how to recognize and manage their emotions, develop caring and concern for others, establish positive relationships, uh, make responsible decisions, and handle challenging situations effectively. And they change it to a thing called transformative social emotional learning, which is social emotional learning taught a completely different way through a racial and equity lens. It's just outright a trick. Equity sounds like equality. It's not equality. It sounds almost like better equality. It's not equality. Equity is, in, to get technical with you, it is an administered political economy in which shares are adjusted so citizens are made equal. Equity is just the word socialism in a new wrapper. They have to teach the power dynamics of society. So white children learn that they are privileged, that they have supremacy in our culture, and that they have a thing called implicit bias, which means that just because of the color of their skin, that they're automatically racist. They want them having their heartstrings tugged on, constantly thinking emotionally. If we aren't allies, then the most vulnerable people are gonna have this really unfair life. They teach the white kids, because of their position of power, that it's their job, if they want to truly be like what social emotional learning teaches, empathetic and compassionate, that they have to become allies and activists for these causes that help to dismantle the systems of America. We're going to put these things on you that don't, don't need to be on you. We're going to put a lens of oppression on you. That's part one. But part two is to bring in social justice. And so they must dismantle the system. Ethnic studies in K through 12 education must be guided by critical race theory. 